It's a known fact that, before the original game, Dr. Richard Trager worked in the psychology department of the game's asylum. He also held the position of business developer at Mount Massive, where he met Jeremy Blair, with whom he maintained a great friendship. The large money he amassed working for the Murkoff Corporation allowed him to afford certain luxuries, such as a wine cellar in his home and a small stash of cocaine that he secretly stored in his studio. Outlast, the Murkoff account also reveals the sexual abuse suffered by several Trager employees, ranging from the maid, Denise, to several other Murkoff workers at the hospital. When Paul Marion and Pauline Glick went to his home, in a state of alert after an employee of Choro Trager had sent an email talking about Murkoff's underdealings, Rick refused to acknowledge that there could be a snitch among his men. Under the light of that pretense, Glick decided to investigate Trager more closely, only to end up being drugged with flunitrazepam.